Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living and return with having. Any educated adult that has gone to college or some sort of graduate program knows what their rights are in the world. Our rights are established first by our birthright and our birth certificate of the American continent. By being a U.S. citizen, we are born with some inalienable rights underneath an international treaty called the Declaration of Human Rights. Those inalienable rights are very much patterned after our U.S. Constitution and our actual Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights in the United States actually provides people a lot of extra rights that were maybe a little bit elusive and a little bit intended and a little bit, well, not obtrusive in our Constitution. Underneath the guide of the first article of that Bill of Rights is that we have the opportunities to report situations in our life as reporters. We also have the right to freedom of assembly with other people without any impediment by law enforcement. We also have the ability to have the freedom of religion that allows us to worship our gods whatever we believe in, in any way we choose. But as a predominant characteristic of our Constitution, those religion must be based on an actual Christian-oriented God, regardless of what we call him or her, even if we call them Odin from long ago in Viking lore. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about our rights. The Second Amendment is not that hard. It's the right to bear arms and defend ourselves from physical attack, sexual inappropriateness, and basically anything that's black. And what I mean by that is black cat tricks that harm our lives. The Third Amendment is about the militia and openly how they can't think things over. The Fourth Amendment, however, is what's most important to most people on a daily basis and a daily measurement that we have the right to the safety of our personhood, meaning our heart, mind, soul, and body. We also have the right to our paperwork, meaning our legal documentation that govern and protect our lives as individual citizens of the United States. It means no one has the right to alter our name, interfere with our bank records, steal or commandeer our numbers, put money in and out of our account without our consent, or fuck around with our medical rights, which allow us to pursue what we choose, who we choose, and where we choose to receive medical care. We obviously have other life records, including life insurance policies, that no one in any biological family has the right to commandeer, although our parentage of lineage has the right to bequeath us those actual documents until we are the age of majority. Smart parents do that. It means that policies are very inexpensive by the time that we're in our mere 50s. Once we've had policies for a good 40 to 50 years, we are fully responsible for who gets that funds upon our demise. We have the right to bequeath our property and our finances from life insurance policies to any lover we choose, any child we choose, any organization we choose. Some people are sort of crazy, like the Joan Rivers of the world, who might have bequeathed a hell of a lot of money to some animals she might know. In our lifetime, we also have the ability to have our actual property be safe. What that means is that there is no militia person who has the right to steal our property, which also means that there is no military person, no police officer, and no lay person that has the right to put their hands within our property bags, in our pockets, in our home, in our car, and take our things.